Welcome to Readability. I'm your host, Ashley Kelson. In Readability, we read all kinds of stories, from short storybooks to large chapter books. You could sit down with family or just lay back and relax. Every Saturday, we read, review, and recommend different books for your listening pleasure. I really hope you enjoy Readability. Let's get started. All right, let's get on to our readability kickoff session. I really don't have much to say, so this is probably going to be one of our shortest kickoff sessions ever. Today, we are going to be reviewing The Light Jar by Lisa Thompson, and I love this book so much. So I guess let's Get on to the review. The Light Jar by Lisa Thompson is a children's novel following our protagonist, Nate, and his mother, Fiona. This book has a mysterious atmosphere and has many parts where you're sitting there wondering. Nate and his mother are running from Gary, Nate's mother's new boyfriend. Neither him or his mother liked Gary after he moved in. He was always very angry and abusive, and you never knew when he was going to strike. The problem with this is that Fiona never had the courage to stand up for herself and her son. At this point, they had to leave. Only grabbing his essentials, Nate runs to the car and they arrive at this weird cabin in the middle of nowhere. Forward a bit and his mother leaves to the nearest grocery store they saw on their way. This seems fine and dandy at first. I mean, it might be a little scary for Nate, but what could go wrong? A few hours pass, and his mother hasn't come home yet. After frantically running around the cabin and trying to find some way to survive, he meets an odd girl named Kitty who is trying to find a secret treasure. Along the way, we learn more and more about Nate's past and some crazy stuff that happened in his life, like what happened to his dad and the mean things Gary does at home and what Nate has gone through himself. It's surprising, and we even learn a lot about Kitty and what she's trying to find. Lisa did an amazing job creating the story as a whole. It feels so realistic, and the storyline is amazing and very, very interesting. I'll be honest, you can get sucked in this book pretty quickly. I absolutely love it so much, and I recommend it a ton. Let's get on to some basic facts about The Light Jar by Lisa Thompson. The book is 240 pages long. There are 31 short chapters. The publishing brand was Scholastic. The author is Lisa Thompson, also known of writing The Goldfish Boy. So if you enjoyed that book, I recommend reading this one. I loved this book. It is incredible. As I said before, this book is very detailed, and the story is very complex and exciting. I love it so much. If I had to rate the book out of 5, I would give it a solid 4.5 out of 5. If not, 5. Um, this book was so incredibly exciting and refreshing. It's pretty short and a quick read. And let me tell you, it is worth it. The ending has some twists in the end, and some parts are just so lively and fantastic. I don't think I have to go too in-depth into this subject. I think I've said it too many times. But 100% yes, this is a book I would recommend to somebody. I love it so much, and it's amazing. Please check it out if you have the time. It is now time for our highlight section. Now, here's the thing. I don't have the physical book with me, so I can't read it word for word. But I will list some parts of the book that messed with my heartstrings, or parts that were just so interesting. Also, I will try my best not to spoil a lot. Number one, 
The part where Nate meets Sam, Nate's old imaginary friend. At first, Nate doesn't believe that he's really there. By the end, he realizes that maybe he is there. And overall, it's just a fantastic friendship between them. And there is a part that I want to spoil, but I won't because I want you guys to actually enjoy the book because it's amazing and great. And number two, much like the last thing I said, meeting Kitty is much like meeting Sam. Nate doesn't really want to be near Kitty. He thinks about his mother and what not to do because, you know, they don't want to reveal where they're hiding to Gary. In the end, he becomes very interested in her and wants to know about what she's trying to find. Here's a new section to our book reviews. My character thoughts. The characters are so diverse and different from any other. For example, Nate is curious, but at the same time somewhat timid and pessimistic, while Kitty is very optimistic and adventurous. Their differences really make them interesting and characters that you'll remember. Kitty is also much like Sam, happy and jolly. Now, on to Nate's parents. Fiona, the mother, is very quiet but also has the ability to stand up for herself, though not with Gary. Gary is very abusive and not kind to Nate or his mother. I personally don't like Gary. He's just super rude and I don't know why. My favorite character would have to be Kitty. Her backstory and where she's coming from and what she's trying to find is really interesting. I think that Kitty is a kind girl and is very courageous and willing to do what it takes to get what she wants. As I said, she's a really happy and jolly girl. Just someone you want to be around. I love Kitty, but I also do love all the other characters as well. After listening to the podcast, I hope you are more than interested in taking a look at The Light Jar by Lisa Thompson. This book gives me so many emotions, happy, sad, and even in the middle, and I adore it so much. Check it out if you have the time. Thank you for joining me, your host Ashley Kelson on Readability. It has been a really great time, and I hope you join me again next week. Remember, every Saturday we either read, review, or recommend a book for your listening pleasure. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Keep reading, folks. Bye.